state leaders aren't taking the fight against the rise in violent extremism to Capitol Hill. New Jersey's Attorney General Gabriel Graywall testified yesterday before the Subcommittee on Civil Rights and Civil Liberties, telling lawmakers about the tactics the state is using to protect communities from militia extremists and white supremacy. Graywall says domestic violent extremism may now be greater than at any time in recent memory. And according to his testimony, reports of bias and hate incidents have nearly quadrupled over the last five years to more than 1,400 on record in 2020, many involving young people. Graywell's office convened a task force to confront the root causes of the violence using two strategies. One, reducing unlawful firearms activity, and two, addressing the rise of hate among those young people with recommendations to reverse the troubling trend. That task force called for reforms to our state's education system, to include anti-bias education for students and teachers, to put forward tougher hate crime laws, and to increase public engagement to address hate and bias. The task force report also highlights the roles played by hateful and extremist rhetoric on social media and from public figures, and it offers recommendations to mitigate the harms that that rhetoric can inflict on our young people. Our hope is that these strategies will result in fewer young people embracing a worldview that might lead them towards extremist violence.